Hai hai Gozeno uh, Hari ini gue masih mau ngelanjutin game Alfred Hitchcock Vertigo Semoga game kali ini lebih seru lagi Oke okay, kita langsung ke game ya Kita dibawa ke waktu dia dapat misi dari bapaknya. Ternyata pas dia dengerin orang tuanya berantem. Lieutenant Flanagan, we have a new mission. A KGB agent has infiltrated the presidential palace for a single goal, to drive a wedge between the president and the first lady, putting an end to a vital, long-standing alliance. We won't let the KGB get away with it. We'll unmask the traitor and save our nation. Jadi dia menghayal lagi. I know you found the missing figurine after all. Mom will give it to me later. She'll be a bit angry. You weren't obsessed with an entire verse, were you? Only with one sentence. Leave her, Johnny. Leave her. Maybe. Kebetulan banget menggambarkan gitu. Why don't you trust your sister, Jenny? Because she takes up all of Mom's attention, and then she can't be with me or with Dad. 
and then Dad gets mad. Yes. Dan dia selingkuh sama mamahnya si A. Dan kemungkinan besar itu anaknya sih. si Ed benci banget sama Reyes tadi dia ngumpetin ingatan aslinya ini Why are you taking those pictures, Ed? Because things just used to be better. <laughs> what did you think when the police officer arrived, Eddie? that he was going to arrest someone for misbehaving. Yeah, or I, I don't know. How did Jenny get a hold of that figurine? Sometimes dad sleeps in mom and dad's room in the morning or in the afternoon. And mom comes and changes Jenny's diaper on my bed. So I go outside to play. What did you think right there, Eddie? That Jenny isn't bad. It's the police officer that's bad.
What? It can't be that bad. So, you are going to tell me now, right? You've been repressing and twisting your own memories since. Your father was not the person you remember. At some point, um, when you were little, he became obsessed. He got lost. He started drinking. Ingatan-ingatan asli udah mulai kembali ke Jadi tanpa sadar dia berperan juga untuk semua kejadian ini sebenarnya. Setelah itu di shock hebat, ingatannya udah kacau. did I do it? Jenny. Plenty of older brothers feel jealous of their siblings. It's normal. It would have passed. It was all my fault. No, it wasn't. The picture. If I hadn't... The same thing would have happened. Sooner or later, your dad would have found out. And instead of an accident, it would have been a slap, or a beating, or a push, or a knife. And what good does knowing do me? You've been carrying that guilt for years. Building a prison of fake memories just to hide it. From yourself. From everyone. And it's been gnawing at you. But you need to let it go.
<sighs> Not today. Lalu pakai yang lebih baru. <laughs> oh Ed, you're the most loyal person I've ever met. Doctor. It's Sheriff Reyes. Doctor, sorry to bother you this late, but... Were you the one texting me? I sent you a few messages on the way, but... Uh... Ah, it was you. Why are you here? What do you want? Islay, I know. We were looking for Esther Franklin until just now. Did you find anything? There's still hope. I'm... I'm sorry about this morning. And you know I don't want to put your career on the line. We both want to get to the bottom of Ed Miller's story. Why don't we help each other? There's a really pretty lookout near here. We could discuss this. I'm telling you, it's bad news. The gun, the bottle, his connection to the Franklins. The whole implausible story about the... <clears throat> like I was saying, there are too many signs, huh? I'm not saying he's guilty, it's just... It's hard to see it any other way. Don't you think, Doctor? There's one just like it in my favorite movie. I can't say I'm a movie buff myself. It's amazing to think the tree was born here. That it died here. And that we've only been here about this much. What were you doing that day? Do you remember? Sure. I woke up at 6.30, like I do every day, turn on the radio while I shaved, and uh, the second plane had just hit. I remember looking in the mirror, not recognizing myself, not my face, my hands, my bathroom, none of it. I took care of people with similar symptoms during those weeks. I was born about here. You? About the same. Here? No, a year later. I was at a protest march. The police charged us. I fell. Uh, L.A., right? Did they crush you? Three knee operations. What were you doing at the time? I don't know. Patrol during the day to make a buck. 
study at night to be a sheriff. Kita nggak bisa kemana lagi. Two thousand sixteen. I became sheriff. Congratulations. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. 2016. All right. I didn't know what I was getting myself into either. <laughs> Did you become sheriff too? <laughs> I fell in love. Ah, damn. Of course. Sorry. I have to insist. I know Miller is hiding something. He's lying. To lie? You have to be aware that you're lying. Nice one. But Miller knows exactly what he's doing. He only has trouble remembering certain things. Things that you do remember. I, I, I don't understand. Tell me about Maddie Miller, please. I, 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 excuse me? About your relationship with her. In the early 90s, you did a little more than just work and study to be sheriff. I never told anybody. Is it so painful after all this time? Time doesn't heal a damn thing, you know? There are things that only heal with a little air. We were inseparable as kids. I spent more time at her house, the one you've been to, than my own. In high school, <laughs> everyone mm -hmm. thought we were dating. <laughs> then she went to school in San Francisco. We'd meet up some weekends. Until one summer, she came back arm in arm with John Miller. We didn't see each other for years. It would have been five or six when we ran into each other and uh, started meeting. A coffee, a walk, dinner, a motel. Later, pregnant with Jenny, she distanced herself from me. I thought the girl had helped her marriage, that she was happy. Fucking happiness. Mm. She's a beautiful girl. Isn't she? Beautiful and a bottomless pit. You'd gobble your mummy right up, wouldn't you? Thanks for coming after all this time. How have you been? I miss you. That's it. I really missed you. I'm sorry. I didn't want Jenny to grow up in a broken home. Or Eddie. I was willing to give you anything you needed. Anything you needed. And I still am. 
we could start another family. I felt guilty. John deserved a chance. I thought the baby... I was wrong. Is he still drinking? He's burying me alive. What did he do? If he touched a single hair. If he touched a single hair on your head, he's a dead man. I'm going to leave him. I, I'm gonna tell him next week. Don't tell him anything. Get the kids, pack your bags, leave a note, and go. I have to tell him. I can't just... just take his son away from him without at least... My new house, be it all ready, John. Jenny is yours. Take her. She's got something in her hand. Oh, get it, will you? Gently. Leave stuff everywhere. See? She has your eyes. And he... doesn't suspect anything? Since the very beginning. How do you know she's not... John's? You've never tried to sleep with someone after you've downed a bottle of whiskey, have you? <laughs> well... What am I saying? You're ready for water after half a beer. Come with me. The three of you. Let's take it slowly. I can't risk custody. That was the last time I saw them alive. Was it you who found them? I wanted to kill that son of a bitch, but he took that away from me too.
Nick, no. What went through your mind in that moment? Why did you move it away? Halo, sorry kepotong. Gak tau kenapa tiba-tiba error keluar gitu aja. Ya, kita coba continue aja. Kalau misalkan nanti ngulang, nanti gua edit terus gua terusin dari terakhir kali error. Oke, okay, yuk ke game yang That's something I could only tell my psychiatrist. Thanks. Now, you understand? John Miller was dangerous. His son is too. The same look in his eye. I'm worried about you. I appreciate it, but I'm not in any danger. Ed has issues, yes, but he's no murderer. I just meant... Hold on. You believe him? About what? Faye. Yes. <laughs> no. You're certain Faye isn't the figment of a writer's... Uh... A psychopath's imagination? I'm not interfering in your job, Sheriff. Don't interfere in mine. Throughout my career, I've met a great deal of psychopaths. And believe me, when I know someone, I really know them. If there is a psychopath in this story, it's not Ed Miller. Oke, okay, tadi errornya ke sini ya. Kita lanjutin lagi dari sini. Dulu first ya. Oke. Okay. Siapa Faye ini? has a very seductive smile, but would someone with such a messed up ankle look that happy? Faye has an interesting smile, odd even, but she doesn't seem to be in any pain. Look at poor Faye trying to smile despite the pain. What kind of maniac wouldn't feel sorry for her?
make sure itu artinya dihajar lagi baik Oh, that looks like it hurts a lot, Faye. Come in and I'll put some ice on you. How come you didn't call an ambulance, Faye? I tried to, but my battery died. Okay, siapa ada di sini? Pertama kita ngerjain dia, malah kita yang kerjain. Why are you looking at me that way, kitty? I stole your blanket, so now I'm the enemy, huh? <laughs> Not yet. But one day, kitty. <sighs> Mr. Mysterious! You there? Have you eaten? I'm hungry. There are leftovers in the fridge. Help yourself. Leftovers, my fave. You cook them yourself? Uh, if cooking means ordering online, hmm. That's how we'll all cook in the near future. I'm gonna go bring those leftovers into the past, okay?
One out of five on my list of things to make sure he delivers. But I'll need a more secure base of operations. Mmm, this wine is delicious, Faye. Plus, you won't hear me say it out loud, but it's making all my blood flow down into a certain part of my body. Não sei o que eu não poderia ir logo bem. Tá no celular. Kenapa enggak nuang di situ aja? Langsung terus bolak balik. sendiri ya Emilio Salgari, the son of the Red Corsair. 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 Nice to meet you, Mrs. Miller. You have no idea how inspiring it is to see you in that cheap-ass, slutty little outfit. Mr. Miller? What undertaker did you murder and steal that suit from? Thank 
que presta. Nanti baju kan? Harus. Eh, ada opsi yang mana satu lagi? Kalau aku balik tuh mana tuh Aku gak tau lagi ya sebelah mana Someone looks pleased Am I interrupting a special moment? Huh? Consider it My way of saying thank you Masih, kirain gue milih Hmm A toast? Kucingnya disini My favorite one's missing The son of the black corsair Oh, black kan? Emilio Salgari, right? Do you like Ed Miller? You know what? Me and that guy have history. Huh. So, what kind of history? Oh. Hmm. The bad kind. Apa 
Ah, itu. Saya cek yang lain dulu, Mbak. Kiri. One day, Kitty. One day. to base 7 or for next base 7 let time take its course relax i've been on the pill for years go ahead and rest Sweetie, the more I get to know you, the surer I am. Saya tinggal pergi kan? Don't worry, sweetie. I'll be back. I promise. Tujuannya apa? Let's say I believe you. That Miller is innocent. Where do we go from here and... What other leads do we have? Hmm? Let's find out if Faye really exists. Or existed. I have the date she appeared and the name of the agency she may have rented a car from. Sounds good? Weren't you not going to interfere with my work? Trust me, Sheriff. And you trust me, Doctor.
good morning. How are you doing? Claire, are you feeling all right? Do you want... Oh, don't worry about her. Come up. <laughs> My aunt just heard about the kind of therapy we're doing and that it's not going too bad. <laughs> She's never been a huge fan of shrinks, you know. She's kind of a sore loser, but she'll definitely get over it. Though, she seemed pleased with you up until now. Did you walk there from your bed by yourself? Or did she help you? My aunt? No. I didn't do it alone, though. That's how you fix things. By offering to help me. Over and over again. But... But do I deserve that help? Huh? Do I deserve it? Don't I deserve to rot in jail? Hmm? Or an insane asylum? Or, or maybe... If that truck driver hadn't shown up... I'm dangerous. It'd be better for everybody. It might not seem that way with many people, but we're all a bit broken inside, and we all deserve help. The sheriff thinks I'm crazy. I don't blame him. Faye, Jenny, Samuel, Esther. I believe you. I believe you, Ed. Faye isn't a figment of your imagination. Neither is Jenny. Tell me all about Faye. Even the smallest details could help, all right? Why don't we just... get that spiral going and... spare us my lies? Hmm? We need to know what you remember so we can understand why you forget. After that one night together, she disappeared, like she'd never existed. Hello? No last name, no number, no message, no address.
just her wine glass. You're gonna love this. I still haven't washed it. Funny, huh? As if it... Blah. Were you expecting her to come back? I'd thought she'd gone to get her car, or to town, or even to the doctor. I was hoping she'd come back, I guess. But something much better happened. Remember that thing I said about looking out the window, focusing on something, and, and letting my fingers free write? Yes, I believe the day you met Faye, you'd chosen... Mm, a transmission tower? Uh-huh. Yeah, good memory. At least somebody around here doesn't need a spiral to remember things. <laughs> Starting that day, I made it into a routine. Some days, something interesting would come out of it. Most others, nothing would. But I decided that my next book would be a collection of short stories or vignettes in the style of Bierce or Kafka. New book? How is it coming? I'll tell you later. A little over a month ago, about a year since Faye's first visit, I thought it was Samuel. We'd been playing a lot of chess, and we're supposed to pick up a game we'd started the night before. What did you think when you saw her? I didn't think it was her, just someone who looked like her. But it wasn't the case. Her name is Jenny. She's your daughter. It wasn't surprising to you that she had the same name as your sister? Yeah, but it's not an unusual name. And so, <laughs> guess what she told me, Doctor? Don't tell me she proposed to you. Not even close. She said she was sure I was the father. That it would have been unfair not to tell me. That she didn't need my help or my money. But if I recognized her as my daughter, I could be in her life. And if you decide not to, it's fine. <laughs> 
We'll leave right now, and you'll never see us again. But call us a taxi, please. You didn't call one, did you? That one you got right. And so, I looked at Jenny. I guess it goes without saying that I've never felt emotional around babies. Thanks. But she reminded me so much of my sister that, I don't know, I felt something. Of course, I didn't give Faye an answer. I was confused, and I told her I needed time to give me a few days. I said they could stay with me instead of at a motel. Did she tell you anything about her life? Apparently, she was about to start a master's in something like what you did, I guess. But she had to hit the brakes because of her pregnancy. Only child, father a widower, pretty well off, pretty old and hoping for grandkids. Banyak pertanyaan yang menarik. Mudah-mudahan bisa ditanya semua sih ini. Uh... Did Faye do anything strange? Anything that took you aback? Uh, no. She spent the whole day with the baby. Taking care of her. Playing. <laughs> It sounds dumb, but... I was even a little jealous. We're all dumb. You didn't let Faye and Jenny stay in the main house? It's just my room there. About ten years ago, when I moved back in, Aunt Claire started visiting me a lot. So I converted the old garage into a guest house. My aunt is better if kept at a safe distance. She never told you her last name? No last name, no address. I would have told the police. I didn't ask her for her number either. She never left the house that whole time and... <laughs> I guess we were past that stage by that point. Did she tell you why she disappeared that first night? Did she apologize? No, and I didn't ask her to. You have any idea how many times I've done that? <laughs> I've got the gist of it.
When you slept together the first night, she said she was on birth control, didn't she? Did you talk about it afterwards? She was sure she hadn't skipped a single day. But, of course, no method is 100% effective. After that first night, did anything ever happen again between you two? No, no. I don't know. It was all so strange, as if we were suddenly 20 years older. It would have been hard for me to see her that way. Not to mention how efficient we were the first time. A young girl, single, with an unwanted pregnancy. She didn't think about getting an abortion? She told me that she was going to at first, but after a few days, <laughs> I think I get it. How long were they here? I've been thinking back on it these days, and I'd say it was exactly three weeks. They got here on a Sunday, and as you know, they disappeared on a Sunday. Are you okay? Do you want to take a break? No. Anyway, the first two weeks felt good, but then things got warped, like my head started to rebel, like if it was pissed off that I was doing well. Wake up, Eddie. Wake up. Why'd you do it, sweetie? Mom? mean to Jenny mom I'm sorry we're doomed because of you sweetie you're no better than him
Was it a recurring nightmare? Every night. Always the same message. And the days weren't much better. I'd wake up exhausted, couldn't focus on anything. For years, I hadn't thought about them constantly. I hadn't relived their deaths over and over again until... Ed! 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 Huh? Jenny's temperature is 103.6. Huh? There's a first aid kit in your bathroom cabinet. It should have everything. Did you check if there was any Advil? She's a baby, Ed. Let's go to the hospital. Get dressed. I'm unlocking your car. I'll wait for you in there. baju gimana kalau baju ini masih Everything is ready. Let's go to the car. Gimana ini? Gak kelihatan Why'd you take so long? I got the book just in This case. is not the time for books! You want to ride in the back with Jen? Ugh. And that's it? Until I woke up on the bridge. Yeah. It was like another one of my nightmares. It's clear as day that my car plunged down into the canyon. That the truck driver found me on the bridge. But what I remember seeing... is my dad once again choosing to abandon me. I tried to reach him without him noticing me, but... No! No!
Oke, sementara sampai sini dulu. Sorry banget tadi sempat kepotong gara-gara uh, error. Nggak tahu error di mana. Error lagi. Kayaknya sih dari konsol yang error. Terus makanya sekarang recordnya agak lebih panjang. Buat ngegantiin errornya tadi. Ya, uh, misterinya sih sedikit-sedikit udah mulai kebuka ya. Uh, ya. Tapi... kayak gimana gitu ya kita tungguin aja HP ceritanya selesai kali ya udah thank you semuanya udah nonton sampai ketemu lagi ya nah.